Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can perform Spearman rank correlation coefficient, also known as Spearman row, including a significance test for it, using Excel, uh, not using any VBA or anything. Uh, unfortunately there's no quick formula for this, so we have to actually use the original formula uh, for Spearman row that's up here, and uh, break it down into pieces. Now the first thing we need to do is, here's my example data and some of them have missing values, so we're only interested if we actually have both. So the first step is to remove all those cases that don't have both. I can use an if function for that. If and this one is unequal to nothing and also this one is unequal to nothing, then I want to have this value, otherwise don't do anything. Now I can actually block the columns here for the criteria in the end. I press F4 once, twice, three times, and then puts the dollar sign only in front of the uh, column letter. Uh, you can also just type in the dollar sign, and then simple copy, and let's scroll all the way down, paste, should be doing the trick. Yeah and I can see that these are indeed now empty. So that means I have a total of count column C 48 cases. Then we need to determine the average rank only for those that we actually have something off. So luckily there's a function called a rank dot average and uh, I'm gonna be ranking this number based on these and I can press F4 again but only need to uh, put a dollar sign in front of the row numbers and I want them to be in ascending order. I can now simply copy paste this formula to both E and F and oh, I should actually add in a criteria is if this one is unequal uh, equals nothing, then do nothing, otherwise perform. So that way we don't get all those weird errors. Okay, uh, then determine the Pearson correlation, uh, which has this scary looking formula, but actually um, the Spearman correlation is nothing than a Pearson correlation between the ranked variables. So I can use the function coral and then simply say, well, I want the correlation between this array and this array. And that should give me now the Spearman correlation coefficient. The t value has this scary formula for it, um, which is the Spearman correlation multiplied by the square root and open another set of parentheses of n minus 2 and then close the parenthesis divided by open another set 1 minus the square of this one and square is this symbol with a 2 and we close all the parentheses and now we have our t value F in order to perform a test we also need to have the degrees of freedom that's pretty straightforward uh, n minus there are a few different ways you can actually calculate the significance now. You can use the uh, more recent t-dist two-tailed and then you simply fill out the x value but make sure to use the absolute value of it. So that's this one and then the degrees of freedom is this one. Oh, I forgot to close the parentheses and there we go. You can also use the old version, tdist, that's the old function. Again, make sure to use the absolute value of that t value. And this one requires the degrees of freedom as well. But it also requires if you want a one-tailed or two-tailed, and in this case I prefer two-tailed. If you really want to make things complex for yourself, you can also use two times and then one minus the t.dist version and again the absolute value of the t value 
and then we need the degrees of freedom again and then we need to specify true for cumulative close everything and you see all of them result in the same now there is a somewhat faster method to actually calculate the Spearman correlation um, for that you then the but that's only uh, if you don't have any ties in the ranks and as you can see here I do have some like 8.5s and um, not even then also here 46 I see a few times so I actually have a few ties in ranks so this method wouldn't work with my data but just to show you how that might work um, you then take the difference from the ranks for each and um, you square those results is this one squared again we actually only want this if c2 is well not c2 if the cell is at least not empty and the same here so i can actually copy paste these down and then the slightly faster formula for the spearman row would be six times is six times the sum of this h column those were those squared differences and then divided by n which is up here times and then n squared so again this one minus one and close all the parentheses so as you might notice that gives a fully different result than uh, my original one and that's because I have a lot of ties so only use this one if you really don't have any ties uh, in all other situations uh, you can use this one you might have noticed here it says UDF that's a user defined function it's a function I created uh, myself and um, it's called Spearman Row and it takes as input the two ranges uh, should be numeric only and uh, vertical and if you then enter as output 1 it gives you the Spearman coefficient if you have output 2 it gives you the t value with 3 it gives you the degrees of freedom and anything else or leaving it uh, uh, blank will give you the significance I'll put a link in the description below to this file uh, in case you want to use that user defined function